Here is going on guys, Talk Nerds City here, back for another match day experience. Today is Everton at home, and this is probably the earliest I've ever been up for a home game. Uh, it's a 12.45 kickoff. I don't think we had any of these in the um, in the championship, maybe Ipswich, I'm not too sure. And I think today is our first ever game on BT Sport. That's a trivia fact for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go up the city now. I've got a few errands to run before. Going to meet up with Lana and Gibbo and then go to the game and meet up with Chris and whoever else is there. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Follow me around. Let's do this. Got a bit of a hectic match day lined up. Uh, I've just got to Norwich. It's pissing it down again. Um, but just had my McDonald's breakfast and now I'm going to try and meet up with Jake Humphrey because we're on BT today. So Jake's in the fine city. But I've got to run because it, he goes, um, or he starts his rehearsals very soon, so I'll miss him if not. So I'll run there, then I'm on Radio Norfolk for a bit, uh, and then I might try and run back into the city to meet up with my mates because we're trying to plan a holiday. And unfortunately, I've had to pull out of that, or plan it anyway. So let's try and do this. I did say all match days aren't a good one if it doesn't start with a run. Let's do this. That was, that was crazy. Uh, I just went out and met with Jake, unbeknown um, that not only Jake was there, but Kevin Davis was there, Howard Webb was there, Steve McManaman, and then like Robbie Savage and Fletcher up in the gantry. Uh, you know sometimes when you just walk in there and you're just blown away. It's crazy to think that these opportunities come from, just come from making YouTube videos and ranting and raving about Norwich City. It's crazy. That's, thanks so much for the support on that. Because without you guys watching and liking and sharing, none of this would ever be possible. And I also put my through the embarrassment of walking through the camera, walking through the public, speaking to a camera as well. Um, but no, a big thank you to Jake Humphrey, as always. Everyone who I've met supports me to the hill. It's just gobsmacking. Anyway, enough, enough soppy talk. Game day, I'm running back into the city now. Gonna meet up with a few of my mates, try and book a trip to Australia, <laughs> and then go back and back the boys. Right, I'm a half an hour late for this appointment uh, I was booked in for, but I've got to meet the VT Sport guys, so it's all worth it. But I just don't know if I've run from Carrow Road to the far end of Norwich for no point, because I think I've pretty much missed it. Helpful hint. Don't run across one side of Norris to the other and back and back in the space of half an hour. It's not good for you. It is good for you. My lungs are hurting. Right, not far to go. Half an hour late. All dear. Right, about 20 minutes since I last spoke. Got to the travel agents, 35 minutes late. Caught five minutes of the meeting. But the other lads can sort that. They're good enough. Um, now I'm running back to Carrow Road to meet up with Rob Butler. We'll do some stuff for Radio Norfolk. And then I guess grab a few beers and hope for the best. Let's do this. Right, we're finally in Carrow Road. Here with the boys. Hello. Lana, pessimistic Josh. Yeah. Score prediction. 3-1 Evan. I think they've got too much firepower to us. I know. Snads. Two on Norwich. <laughs> there we go. Chris is over there getting the drinks in. He's not. He's not happy, is he? No, I think he's had a few last <laughs> night. He's, not, he's a bit under the weather. Yeah. He's alright. How do we deal with Lukaku? Not played for song, but they've started for song, so kick him. Kick him. Chuck him on the Tony Bennett was on to just push him <laughs> into the side again. But yeah. No Ryan Bennett. Martin's in there. Let's hope for the best. Right, we're in the ground with Chris. Chris. Score prediction or anything, just speak. Just chuck it down the rain. I'm feeling quite negative today and I'd take a 1-1 draw. I'm really, really good against Everton. I know they're struggling against us, but the quality they've got, we need to get something from today. It's not like you, pessimism. I know, I know. It's just that's where we're at. If you keep changing the team, that's what can happen. But I think it's Well, that's we're in puddles. The teams are out. Live on BT. Let's do this! We've been on the ropes the whole game, it's taken 15 minutes to score, Romelu Lukaku, 6 goals in 6 games, 10 in 10. Very, 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 very poor defending the rocks, again, nothing changed. Right, the worst half of 
Carrow this season. I got my peanut bar to cheer me up. I had to leave that half early. It was, it was woeful. Talk to me. Russell Martin never played football before. He it's terrible. He needs to come off better than he's get on that. Just awful. <laughs> Not much say, just poor. That is all I've got to say. It's very poor. This is like a funeral, isn't it? <laughs> We're all like... Uh, they should be like six and up, shouldn't they? They should be, they should be. I mean, Brad, Brad's pulled off some quality saves, so he deserves a start. As, um, as we've said already, you know, Brian Bennett should be starting. It was Russ Martin's fault, he didn't even concede it. I think going forwards, we look pretty weak as well. We've only had like one or two shots, not even on target. So it's not even just the defence. Happy days! <laughs> if you keep changing the team, that's what's going to happen. You've got to keep it until January. You've got to try and solidify it. Even if we do lose to Watford, you've got to keep the same team. Because they're never going to get used to playing with each other. The midfield's non existent today. It's not good enough. I just hope it stops raining. I'm freezing. I'm so cold. <laughs> Day done, and what an eventful match that has been. Started off running from one side of the city three times. That was interesting. Met up with Jake Humphrey, Chris Sutton, um, who else was there? Howard Webb, Kevin Davis, Steve McManaman. That's nuts. So big thanks to everyone for just following the channel and giving it the support that um, a lot of other YouTube channels doesn't necessarily get. I really do appreciate it, you know. I just chat about Norwich City, I'm just a fan. I'm just lucky enough to have built up a little audience that seems to care about what I say, and that means a hell of a lot. But in terms of the game today, I think it, I think it just highlighted what we already know, really. We need better players, um, and we've got a, a good manager and a set of players that, yeah, they have fight, yeah, they have determination, but when push comes to shove, don't have the quality. But, you know, we move on, we go again, hopefully purchase some more quality in, uh, in January and, and push on because I think this team will stay up this season. Anyway, thanks for watching this matchday experience. Let's hit 150 likes because I'm knackered from running and I think you guys can do it. 150 likes, let's do it. Thanks for watching the video. Peace out.